Aaron, good to see you. Um, I noticed you've got your foot in a, a moon boot. Uh, what's, the, what's the deal with that? Pull one of the ligaments in my ankle, I think a month ago now. So yeah, I just got a bit left before I'm back. So, but I'm progressing and getting, my ankle's getting stronger, getting a bit better. So hopefully be back soon. How did it happen in a match? Yeah, in a game against Morecambe, um, just a bad tackle come in on me. To be fair, he won the ball as well, but he won my leg. Down in Plymouth, it's been going well, hasn't it? Top of the table. Yeah, he's been doing well. Um, obviously, there's been a good like team effort, good unity in the team as well. So, like, we've been doing well in the league, you know, and hopefully we can carry on doing that till the end of the season. You got your first goal as well for them, didn't you? Mm -hmm, yeah. How was that? <laughs> oh, it was a good feeling, you know. It was a special moment for me, obviously. Like, I haven't been notorious for goal scoring in the past. So yeah, you did I... that Maradona goal. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> that was my only one last season. So it was important for me, obviously, to get off the mark. And I was very happy, obviously, to score my first professional goal. Did they make you do any initiation ceremony things when you joined? Did you have to sing in front of anyone, anything like that? Yeah, on my first away trip to, I think it was AFC Wimbledon, had to sing, had to bring out the high notes. <laughs> so yeah, I just, tr I kept with my trusty song. What's your just, trusty song? Um, Neo So Sick. Okay. So I, I belted that out and then that was me done. Get a round of applause? Um, there was a few claps. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't rapturous, but there was a few claps. And I remember you saying in pre-season that the manager here wanted you to work on talking a bit more on the pitch. Do you feel like that's something that, that's come on? Yeah, definitely. I think it's something that comes naturally as you get more more comfortable in a team. As you as you as you start playing more games, you just you settle in, and you know you become more commanding on the pitch. And that's how I feel I've I've become down at Plymouth. Who's the toughest player you've played against so far? I'd probably say Alan Smith against oh, yeah. against Notts County. You know when I played when I played against him, he didn't just didn't give me a yard. Like we have the same we were the same agency, and my agent told me before the game. <laughs> Be careful, you know, he's going to be on to you. But um, obviously he's had a lot of experience in the game and um, like I learnt even playing against him, I learnt what you need to do sometimes to contain a player. And like that was my hardest opponent, I feel, this season. And um, a lot of your teammates from Palace, from the 21s, there's quite a few people out on loan, but they're all, they've all started really well, haven't they? Jake Gray scored, Kai Kai can't stop scoring. And Christian Scales got a few man of the matches when he first went there. It's good to see, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely good to see, you know. We'll see some of the people I've come up with through the academy, like I always want to see them doing well, you know. So when I see I talk to them, see how they've got on in games and when I see they've scored or they've had a good game or the team's won, I'm always pleased for them. Obviously all of us players on loan at the moment, we're all working towards the same thing, eventually coming back here and obviously putting up a fight to, to be in and amongst it, you know. But it's definitely good for my confidence, like going out and doing well and stuff, you know, it does it only does good for me really. And back here, obviously, you've got Mark Bright keeping an eye on everyone. Has he been in touch with you a lot? Yeah, um, every, say, every week or every two weeks, you know, just have a conversation with him. He'll, he'll let me know what he thinks I've done well in the game or what I need to add to my performance from the last game, for example. Like he'll watch the clips over. So, um, yeah, he just gives me good feedback on things and I'm just always taking it on board, trying to learn. Giving you advice as well on things outside of football? Yeah, he's, he's been... Um, He's been asking me if I'm all right with my food and stuff like that, you know, <laughs> like, an, like another father, like another father because I really got my dad saying that to me, you know, but um, no, it's, it's good, obviously, that like you've got someone here that you can talk to on a regular basis, you know, so you don't feel too distant or distracted from the club. You still got that link. I suppose someone that needs that at the moment is Keshi Anderson. He's had quite a serious injury, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, it's probably the worst thing that could have happened to him, to be honest. Like, it seemed as though he was doing well at Doncaster, but um, see a lot of bad things happen in football, it's always, it's a setback and it's about how he bounces back, you know, obviously we all wish him a speedy recovery. And for you, just looking ahead this season, you're at Plymouth until January, aren't you? Um, hoping to extend it even further? Yeah, um, that's what it's looking like at the moment. Um, just had a, had a talk with the gaffer and obviously everyone seems as though things are going well there, so that's what it's looking like. I'm going to go back there and try and get that promotion.